Intelligence is an attribute associated with humans. So when we try to mimic this intelligence in a machine, we call this artificial intelligence. So by definition, any method that mimics human behavior is known as artificial intelligence. The machines are programmed using code and in coding, we have different methods such as if statements, while loops, for loops, etc. So using these methods, if we can replicate human behavior, this would be artificial intelligence. But it would not perform very well. This is because this method is an explicit way of programming, which means we are defining each and every possible scenario and what to do if that scenario occurs. If we take an example of a self-driving car, then this would mean that we are defining each and every possibility that could happen on the road while driving. Like if there is a human in front, we have to stop. If there is water on the road, we have to slow down. And if the green light is on, we should drive. Now, these scenarios, they sound very simple if you look at them individually. But what if a human is in front the road is wet and the traffic light is green all at the same time. What should you do then? So in theory, there are infinite possible scenarios. So writing all of these scenarios would not be possible. So here comes machine learning to the rescue. Now machine learning is a part of artificial intelligence, but the main difference here is that it is not based on explicit programming. This means that instead of us defining the rules, the machine itself will learn the rules. Let's take an example. Let's say we want the machine to learn the difference between cats and dogs. In this case, we will define some features of the cat and some features of the dog that separates them from each other. Now, this feature definition is happening in numbers rather than just saying dogs have bigger ears than cats. So based on these features, the machine is able to learn the difference between a cat and a dog. Now, this is known as a classification problem, where we have a limited number of classes and we need to sort out new data into one of these classes. The other main type of problem is the regression problem where we have a continuous number rather than limited classifications. So let's take an example of real estate. Let's say we want to know the price of a house based on its location, number of beds and the size in square feet. So these three values are basically our features. So we will give the machine some previous data where we know the location, number of beds, the size and the price. So once the machine trains itself, it would be able to give an estimate price of the new house given the location, the number of bedrooms, the size in square feet is provided. Note that the price here is a continuous number like 352,000. If this was a classification problem, the classes of the price would be low, medium or high. So the two major types of machine learning problems are classification and regression. But even with the machine learning, the process is not fully intelligent, as humans are the ones that are providing features in order for it to learn. In the case of the cat and dog classification, we had to define the features of a cat and features of a dog. So now comes the deep learning to the rescue. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning. The idea of deep learning is inspired by the human brain that consists of billions of neurons. Based on this neuron architecture, we create an artificial neural network. And when this neural network has multiple layers, we call it deep neural network. Hence the term deep learning. So here the idea is that we just show the machine different images of cats and dogs and it finds the relevant features that separate them by itself and trains itself to differentiate between cats and dogs. 
This method is closest method to the human intelligence and therefore has shown promising results in many different fields. Let's take the example of a self-driving car for understanding this further. As humans, we just see the surroundings from our eyes and based on that, we decide on whether to brake, accelerate or steer the car. Now, this we learn over the years by observing and practicing. In our head, we are not calculating actual values. The same way we can collect images from a camera and record the steering angle, acceleration and the braking values. And then we can use this data to train our machine. Now, when a new image is shown to the machine, it will decide by itself how much to accelerate, brake and steer. Note that in this example we did not define any features such as road lanes, pumps or even obstacles. It observed and learned by itself which features are relevant for driving. This is how most big companies are approaching the self-driving problem. In fact, NVIDIA even shared their self-driving AI model and their results. They were able to drive a car using this method by just training the model with 72 hours of driving data. So, in summary, AI is mimicking human behavior by any means. Whereas machine learning is a subset of AI that does not use explicit programming. That means that it is not using any fixed rules, but requires features from humans. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning that does not require any feature definition from humans. It is able to decide by itself which features are relevant and train itself on the given data. There are two main categories of problems. One is the classification problem where the result is a limited number of classes, for example, cat and dog. The other one is the regression problem where the result is a continuous number, for example, price of a house. So this was introduction to artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning. In the upcoming videos, we will explore each of these in detail and we will look at the practical examples including their coding. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.